Hi, welcome to the tutorial on Director's Cut. Things are starting to come together now. We know how to set up our theme options. We know how to use the header image and, and set up our navigation menu. But as you can see, our home page still doesn't look quite right. Everything on the home page is set up by widgets. And so to finish setting this up, let's go to our widget control panel. You can see we have several options here, including the primary sidebar, secondary sidebar, home page sidebar, home gallery, bottom left, home bottom right, and the gallery. Let's start by opening up our home sidebar. This is a sidebar specific to the home page and goes on the right side of the page. In the demo site, we're using the e news and update widget, which is a Genesis specific widget. Grab the Genesis e news and update widget and pull it into there. To fill this out, you'll want to put in a title. We're using simply e news and updates, but feel free to use what you think works best for your site and any text you'd like to show. You also need to fill in your Google slash FeedBurner ID. It's very important you do this correctly. A lot of people will put in their entire FeedBurner URI. All you need is the last part of that. So if you have feeds.feedburner.com forward slash director's cut, the only part you add in is director's cut. Just like that. You can change the input text in the Go button and save your settings. The next widget is the Genesis User Profile widget. Again, you can simply grab that and pull it into place. You can give this a title. For our demo site, we're using User Profile. And you can select which user is going to be displayed there. You can decide which Gravatar size you're going to be using. In our demo site, we're using the large and the Gravatar alignment. In our demo site, we're using the right alignment. You can choose if any text is going to be displayed. If you already have an author bio filled out, you can use that. For our demo site, we're using some custom text. And if you have an extended About Me page, you can select that. And you can also select, select to show the author link. Our demo site is also showing the Genesis Latest Tweets widget, which is really easy to set up. You can give it your title. And your username. and how many tweets to show, tell it to hide your at, repo, at replies, and how often it should refresh that. You can also tell it to include a link to your Twitter page. If you do that, you do need to specify what the link text should be. Save your settings. The next sidebar is the home gallery. The home gallery uses the Genesis Featured Post widget to display the post. So we'll want to drag our Genesis Featured Post widget in and go through all the setup options. And give it a title. For this first one, I'm going to use the Music Videos category, so I'll pick the title Music Videos. Select which category you're using and how many posts to show. You can also choose an offset if you have more than one music video category showing on the page so it doesn't duplicate that. You do need to select to show the featured image and select the video thumb for that. Don't worry about image alignment. I have it set to show the post title as well but it's very important to go ahead and turn off the content. and I have it set to show the category archive link. And save the settings. 
On the demo side, I have this done with two other categories as well. Which, through the magic of television, are all set up. Next is the home bottom left, which uses the Genesis featured page widget. Again, you'll assign a title. Pick your page. In this case, I have it set to show the featured image using the tower. Align to left. Showing the page title and the page content, which we've limited to 450 characters. You can change your read more text here if you'd like and save our settings. Finally is the home bottom right. The home bottom right is using the Genesis featured post widget. So we'll pull this in and begin setting it up. We can give it a title. and we can select a category to use. On the demo side, I have it set to show two posts. Also, I have it set to show the featured image using the mini square aligned right. We're showing the post title and the content limit set to 150 characters. Again, you can change your read more text and several other options there, but this is everything set up for the demo site. You can see all our widgets are in place. If we go to the front page, it should look exactly like our home page now on the demo site. I really hope you enjoy the theme and have a great day.